Hello, hello, this is Shenarai, and I'm really hoping that my internet holds out this time. Was attempting to, well, hang out with the Thread Raiders as <laughs> with a Golf With Your Friends stream, and my internet decided, nope, not having it today. So, now that things have calmed down a bit, here's hoping it actually holds out. Um, but yeah, we are once again going back to the PlayStation era and having some Breath of Fire 4. Because heck yeah! <laughs> I am hoping this time um, the audio settings are fine. I realize that last time my, well, game audio was almost non-existent. So, I'm gonna give y'all the starting theme again. Love that opening sequence. All right, let us see if it will let us load from the memory card. Looks promising. I mean, I say memory card, but goodness knows it's really just a file sitting somewhere in the ROM folder. Okay, so last we left off, um, I suppose I really should just recap from the beginning, shouldn't I? So. Um, the game itself begins with Nina and Cray. Um, the both of them are in search of Elena, who's Nina's sister. And she was last seen, um, on some kind of... Oh, goodness. I don't, I don't really want to say, like, a charity, um, mission, but it was basically, like... A goodwill mission. That's that's the word I'm looking for. Um, she was on a goodwill mission visiting the um, towns that are like at the very edge of their country's border, as they were the ones who were hit hardest by the recent war. However, she has gone missing. These two went off to go find her. Um, they were attempting to cross the desert on a sand flyer. That gets attacked by a fucking dragon because reasons, I guess. And with the Sandflyer wrecked, Cray and Nina decided it's an oh-so-fantastic idea to send Nina, the princess of their, of their kingdom, to go off on her own to find the nearest desert town, knowing full well there are bandits in the area, <laughs> to try and recover some parts that could potentially be on a black market for all we know. And, uh, yeah, it goes just about as well as one would think with a with an idea as horrendous as that. Um, Nina comes across a crater, finds that a merchant had fallen into it and is like struggling to get out. She falls in there as well, finds this naked guy named Ryu, <laughs> and 
So the both of them ransack the the merchant's cart for clothes. She takes Ryu with him because she thinks that he's just absolutely lost. But why you would want to take some random naked guy you just found in a desert with you is beyond me. <laughs> they they get to one of the nearest towns. They're trying to find sand flyer parts. They're and it's basically a fetch quest telling us oh hey go to a junkyard essentially find some parts we come back to try and essentially trade it with the merchant or give it to a merchant so that he can turn it into usable parts that doesn't go down because it turns out that the imperial army who belong to the empire that our kingdom was against during the war they're they're basically hassling people. They recognize Nina. They want to capture her because, hey, why not? They were sent to find a dragon, apparently, but instead they find a princess bird. And they absolutely ignore the ceasefire that's going on. So they try and go after Nina. The both, both Nina and Ryu flee. They get to this town that is um, just absolutely polluted by this hex which was like the remnants of this ultimate weapon or whatever from that the empire fired at us um Nina and Ryu want to try and go through go through the infected city because they can't take the highway the the imperial army is blocked that off and they come across Ershin who is a part of those group of purifiers and she agrees to lead us through the town and basically just wants to kind of hang out with Ryu for some reason. She's not sure why. She just wants to. And finally, after several days worth of essentially dicking around and getting chased around, um, Nina finally um, finds the sand flyer that Kray is stranded by. Basically says, oh hey, uh... So I know that we went out to go find some parts, but things happened. These two are friends. I I swear I didn't just find him naked in a in the desert, and I didn't just kind of let this person tag along because the naked dude, and <laughs> and um, Kray decides. Ah, uh, well, okay, fine. You know what? It's getting dark. Let's go on ahead and just can't camp for another night out here while we figure this shit out. Everyone has a shared dream and apparently this was somehow Ryu's dream shared among everyone and they take it as the sign that oh hey, um, Alina, the prin the sister we've been looking for this entire time might possibly be in this obscure place that was dreamed up. That's more or less where we left off. Good lord. <laughs> Alright, so while we are here, uh, I think that basically is how the equipment looks like. Alright. So, last we left off, um, let's see, in Korok down there, we encountered our first master, which everyone is learning from at the moment, and now we're at a dam. That is some gross looking water. Kind of quiet around here. Where is everybody? I heard there was lots of people working here. I sure don't see them. You and me both. Who are you? What are you doing here? Um, excuse me. We want to get to the other side of the river. Maybe cross? Sure. Don't need my person permission to do that, but, uh... Wait, you don't... Don't tell me you don't know what's happened. You hear that? <laughs> There's a dragon running around in there. Oh, for fuck's sake! What is with all these dragons? <laughs> that dragon lives in the mud. Oh, okay. Normally, he swims near the bottom and doesn't bother anyone much. But for some reason, he's been acting real crazy lately. 
Everyone was afraid he'd break the gate, so they ran off. Well, there you have it. You can go across if you want, but just be careful, you hear? Thank you, sir. We will. Alright then, let's go. I, I mean, I guess. <laughs> Never mind the dragon that is obviously ramming the dam. Oh, good lord. Alright. And there's monsters on the dam. Why are there monsters on the dam? Oh, good lord. Alright. I'm gonna double check. Okay, you already know command. So. Um. What kind of specials do you have again? I give you Eddie. Cooking speed. Alright. So. Since you tend to go last, as you are the slowest unit here. Actually, no. It would be the other way around, wouldn't it? Because it's fire, wind. And then you go. And then you go. This will be a complete overkill for these. <laughs> I mean, I guess if you want to beat on them for a while, then I ain't gonna stop you. Mega. Oh, nice. Mega. Not bad, not bad. Didn't get anything out of that, though, other than the money. Alright. Let's see if we can go back and... Nope, we can't go across there. Alright, fine. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, and it looks like there is that sluice there that we may have to lower. Huh, again? I'm just gonna charge this time. By all means, he has the most hit points out of all of us. <laughs> oh, damn. Alright. Berries. Well, these berries are something. Alright. Oh, hey, there's a dog down there. Done. Alright, where do you say? Seuss control panel, unauthorized access prohibited. Okay, let's. Oh, well, what's on here? Hello. Oh, is that just the way around and out? Or it could be just an alternate way? I don't know. Well, here's an armadillo. I know it's dangerous here with the dragon and all, but I've got nowhere else to go. I'm sorry. There's a metal called Orum mixed in with mud. You come here looking for it. What you call prospectors. Okay, hold on. Isn't Orum essentially just, well, gold? Okay, so I can't actually step into the mud. Though. How do you like my tube? This way I know I'm okay even if the dam breaks. I was not aware <laughs> that uh, this would be the kind of fantasy setting where inner tubes were a thing. But okay. It's eh, attempting to do a thing. being distracted. Hello. Who are you? You looking for something? Sorry to bug you, but we need to get to the other side. Can you tell us how to do that? The other bank? 
Why would you come all the way this place to do that? I guess that's none of my business. Anyway, you want to get to the other side. First, you have to close the sluice up there. Then cross the river. Once you're over the river, you can use that lift there to get to the top of the cliff. Rop's got the key to the sluice. Go talk to him. He's the one with the tube. <laughs> okay, so that dude with the inner tube was actually an important person. Hey, you. I heard you have a key. Well, you got the key? Yeah, I got it. Here. <laughs> Just randomly hand it over to some... Ugh. What is it with this game and their bad ideas? I mean, once I'm over there, how are they going to know that I'm going to give it back? Ugh. What do I use the key for? You know, go to the other bank? Oh. Okay, well, be careful. Huh? I mean, I guess. <laughs> I'm just running around the cray just in case I accidentally the button. Because <laughs> I don't want to go slashing people, even though there's like a very small chance I'll get some zenny for it. Alright. Oh, jeez, that's kind of scary actually. Be able to walk on top of the sluice now that it's closed. Yeah. I want to see what's on this side. La 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 la. Well, it actually stopped the f the mud flow there. Oh, there's a treasure chest there. I have to make my way over. As soon as I'm done beating up these creeps. Let's see, Mage Goo, I Goo, Flu Goo. Carefully selects the most efficient attack in combat. I don't know if he actually has a thing. Like a, a skill that we can learn, I mean. But, just in case, um, let's actually start with the slowest person. Guard, guard. I think the Mage Goo may cause more trouble. Guard again. All right. Um, guard, guard, smack the eye. Giant growth. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really seeing much to do with anything, as far as any actual stuff goes. So I'm gonna have her heal. You can protect, and you can guard. Perfect. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't look like that's a thing I can actually learn. So. Starting with Cray, we'll try. And just smack the shit out of him. Good grief. <laughs> Alright. Back up the ladder we go then. Do, 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 do
Do -do -do. Yep, and that is the sluice. Hey. I found short sword. Ooh, hello. Now, question is. Okay, so short sword is good for you. Okay. A little bit better than the bowie knife that we got. Oh, we gotta close that sluice somehow. Okay. Let's charge these bad boys. Victory. Okay. Alright, so down this way then. And I think over there, yeah, there's a there's a chest. So when we close this sluice, we'll swing around, grab that thing. These flywheels are honestly terrifying. I don't know why. Just something about them potentially spinning out of control. What? It stopped. Who's playing around with the sluice? Sorry. You want to close this house? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we do, but this machine here. It stopped, right? It's been a little stiff lately. You have to turn it really fast to get it to work. Here, I'll explain what you have to do. You have to spin it manually, you're saying. First, you have to turn this flywheel here by hand. Then, when the wheel's spinning fast enough, flip the switch here. If you just want to close the sluice, it doesn't have to be spinning that fast. But the faster it goes, the easier it is to operate. So I wouldn't mind if you put a little extra effort into it. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, use the directional buttons to make where you, where you spin, spin the flywheel. Faster you spin, or faster you press directional buttons, faster you will turn. Once the sound of it becomes high pitch, hit circle. If you work at it too long, you'll be able to keep the speed up. Gotta keep it up, Ryu. Do you want to read some hints on how to spin the wheel? Sure. Start slow. Speed up. You can turn the wheel in either direction. Okay. However, you might want to see what happens if you don't press the button and let the machine continue to speed up for a while. If he starts to sweat, so he's getting tired. So try to overdo it. So which one do you want me to do? Do you want me to let it go or do you want me to hit it? Ah, oh, never mind. Alright then, let's get started. One of you has to turn the wheel while someone else has to come over here and push the switch. Fuck. Alright. It's like we're rotating it in a circle. Where's a chunk? Another chunk? I don't think that was enough. <laughs> oh, it was enough. Awesome. Is that with this D-pad? It feels it's kind of funky in my hand. Looks like it closed. You should be able to go across the top of the sluice now. Also, it looks like it's running a lot smoother now. Thanks a lot. I'd like to give you something for all your work. Here. Hope you can get some use out of it. A swisher? What the crap was a swisher? Have a safe journey. No, seriously, what the crap is a swisher?
Oh, it's fishing bait. Okay. That that confused me. All right. Um. Actually, while we're here, just because I don't know what else this place is gonna try and throw at us. All right. Well, before we actually head out there and play with the sluice again. I found two vitamin. Nice. Vitamin, vitamin. All right, ups we go. bitch do I gotta smack? These bitches? I'll smack these bitches. Almost. Sweet. Healing her. Nice. Alright, where am I? There I am. What's up here? Swallow eye. Uh, I think that is an item to cure blindness? Let me double check. Oh, plus one to agility. Well, let's give that to the slowest person that we've got and the second slowest person that we've got. Because I don't like people falling behind like that. Actually, real quick, sort. First for battle, then normal. Alright. Wow, what is with these weird ass angles? The camera has always been the bane of video gamers. Is there a ladder? Oops, the ladder. Hi. I'm keeping an eye out for the dragon. If this thing really gets out of hand, I'm supposed to ring this bell here. I just hope we have enough time to get out of here when that happens. Are you going to be safe? That's the real question. <laughs> ah. What is with these angles? And why is there no... Uh... Hi! If you're done, give me the key. Give the key back to the foreman over there. Oh, you're back, huh? Alright, I'll work the lift for you. Hold the phone! Even though there aren't phones in this era. You had me go all the fuck away around just so I can lower a fucking bridge. Only to come back to point one. <sighs> Fine. Uh, first, you gotta give me back the key, alright? Jerk. Hey, Rob. Go open up in the sluice, okay? Roger. See, if we don't open the sluice, we can't do any work. That's why we're waiting for you to get out of here so we can get back to work. Alright then, let me work the lift for you. Fuck's sake. The slice is broken! The mods are flowing! Ah, I was gonna work the lift for you, but it looks like I got more important things to worry about now. But, but wait! We've got to get to the other side! Look, I'd love to stay and help you, but I gotta get out of here. You'll have to work the lift yourselves. Here, shove a crank in my hand. Fucking hell. All you have to do is attach it to the box in front of the lift and pull on it a few times. I'd think about getting out of, it, out of here too if I was you. Anyway, good luck to you. See ya. I'm out. I'm out of here. <laughs> Fuck. 
Ah, uh, this mud. Reuse the crank. Fuck. Well, he did say pull on it a few times. Fuck's sake. It's not moving. Maybe you need to move the handle some more? You're bashing the X, <laughs> the X button here. Oh shit. Was I fast enough? Come on, hurry up! Oh, this doesn't look good. Did we get out of the lift? <laughs> okay, good, we did. Fuck. How many people have drowned just now? That was a close one. You're telling me. For their sake, I hope all those people got out in time. Yahoo! Fucking hell, Rob. Thank goodness. It looks like everyone got out safely. We don't know that. We don't know how many people were actually working there. Yep. Come on then. Let's get going. Ah, fucking hell. Why? <laughs> and I can still go back. <sighs> okay, we ran into something on the way to Kyria. Beautiful. There's a village called Curio to the east of here. You should be able to get to Sinesta from there. Uh. Hi. Isn't that. Is that dragon that destroyed the dam? Never seen a dragon come this close to shore before. Where did you come from? Looks like your paths have become intertwined with the dragons. Do you know a lot about the dragons, ma'am? Is this the same dragon that destroyed the dam? Dragons don't attack people, dear. This one just wants to tell you something. Oh, you are too cute! Really? What do we want to say? Dragons are beyond the understanding of mortals like us. What we what we know of them comes to us in songs from ancient times. Do you want to hear one of my songs? It won't cost you much. I think there are multiple songs here. Let's start with the, with Tenzin. You see where that goes. <laughs> Thank you kindly. All right, here's a song for you. That has nothing to do with dragons. 
Yes, that wasn't the song of the dragon, was it? Want to hear another one? Won't cost you much. Alright, we're up to 20, Zenny. Let's see how long she tries to troll us for, actually. 10, Zenny again? Not exactly big spenders, are you? Like honeybees? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, that wasn't the song of the dragon, was it? Ten more. We're up to thirty. <laughs> Ten again? Not exactly big spenders, are you? Yeah, that is not at all what that song is. <laughs> yeah, I guess that wasn't the song of the dragon. Ten more. I'm not gonna budge. We're up to forty zenny. Boy, you sure keep a tight grip on your money, don't you? Still, I'm out of songs, so I guess I have to sing you the real song of the dragon. <laughs> so I just saved myself sixty zenny. I am impressed with your range, madam. Oh, are you going away? Oh, but you're being adorable just now. I don't get it. What is that supposed to mean? It means that when the dragons move, the world follows. Everything the dragons do changes the world in some way. And you all have been caught up in that change. I'm sorry, lady, but we're kind of in a hurry. We don't have the time to sit here and talk about dragons or whatever. But we had enough time to listen to four songs. <laughs> Thank you for singing to us, ma'am. At least one of them was polite enough to say thanks. <laughs> Your path is more than just tangled up with the dragons. You've got one walking around with you. Well, that ain't cryptic at all. <laughs> Takiria, then. Unless I just encountered some stuff. Ah, uh, nah. Just a chance for freebie for a free time item somewhere in the map. There you are. Antidote. Get enough for me. All right, to Kiria we go. Travelers. If I was you, I'd be careful around here. Why? Actually, I know exactly why. Let's see. Let's switch it to Kray because we are in civilization. The mayor here is a little eccentric. He loves traps. That's why the village is full of them. 
Only problem is we get caught in them ourselves sometimes. A village of trappers, that is awesome. Mayor said the best way to keep the village safe is to rig it with traps. I mean, if he insists. This kind of trap's called a bear trap. It's important to get the right kind of spring. And make sure the teeth are nice and sharp. Can I raid your closet? Nothing here? No. Okay. <laughs> There's probably other stuff in there, but I'm not too... B oh, hello. I see that. Cray, get over there. That's probably another way around it. Next house. You didn't get hurt walking around the village, did you? The rooms here aren't all that big, but you're welcome to stay. You know what? I've been running around beating shit up. I may as well. And she's offering free room and board, so, uh, hey. Yes, let's save. Is that baby seriously playing with a bear trap? That baby is playing with a bear trap. What the fuck is up with these people? <laughs> Can't say anything, but... What the hell? Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything there. How about here? Nothing. Alright. Ah! And here's actually the first place where we can actually see what Cray can do. Of course, the trouble is, it looks like... Ah, here we are. Um... Actually, we probably shouldn't even be down here yet. You can mess around with this in a bit. Okay. So, holding down the walk button. Because, goodness- oh no, don't go back. Okay. Two things we gotta look out for. The boys got a sweetie back home. They'll find something real nice for her in that chest there. <laughs> You're a little scamp, ain't ya? What happens if you talk to Nina? Hey, Missy. You're mighty cute, so I'll let you in on the secret. See that chest there? Don't touch it. It's a mimic, see? <laughs> you know what? We just saved. I'm curious. How good? Okay, so... All three of those appear to be normal treasure boxes, so... Let's go on ahead and start off with Ryu. Have him burn the one in the middle. Cray can burn the one in the middle as well. And yeah, we'll just set fire to this. <laughs> oh. Okay, so magic doesn't seem to actually do anything. actually combine skills like that, though. Risky shot. Do you have any debuffers? No. Alright, so. Switch over to Cray. You can use Protect. You can use Barrier, because I don't entirely trust this thing either. I mean, I shouldn't. I was just told it was a... <laughs> I was just told that it was a thing. Oh, 
Okay, so yeah. that doesn't actually... Are... Well, in this case... Craig can give that a wallop. Ryu can give that a wallop. And Erishin can come out and give that a wallop. Yes, I realize I put all the buffs on Nina, but still. Okay, just struck one. That one is guarding. You know what? Fuck it. Let's charge. Oh, holy hell! Fuck. I mean, it didn't do much. They look terrifying. <laughs> oh, we got a nice punch. Okay, that was worth it. That was worth the treasure. Let's go ahead and give Ershin some elemental goodies. There is no way there'd be a treasure chest there. <laughs> okay. I need to stop running blindly into things. Caution, this area is traps. No shit, Sherlock. Alright. Ah, uh, you see it on the bridge there? You know, I still think the best trap has got to be the good old bear trap. It's simple, yet elegant, reliable, portable. Ah, no, 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 no. The best traps are the explosive ones. Who can resist the smell of smoke, the sound, the color? The mayor is not the only eccentric here, I think. <laughs> yeah. Mayor's residence. Feel free to play with the pet. Hey, can you stand there for a minute? How about no? <laughs> oh, hello. I haven't seen you in a while. It's the tutorial girl. Hey there, you've made it this far. I bet you've been able to make a few combo attacks, right? Let's see. Have you been able to make firewind? Yes. But lots more useful things to tell you about. Uh, this stuff I already know. Is that so? So you already know everything I have to say, huh? Great. The cat. You are cute. Me, I like digging holes. Oh, goodness me. And even the chicken is running around a hole. Uh, okay, so... Entry without permission from the mayor is prohibited. Alright, fine. Um... Should I play with the pet? Because goodness knows it's probably... You know what, just fuck it. Let's play with the pet. Let's see what kind of creature they're throwing at us here. Why in the fuck would you have a bee <laughs> as your pet? Kill it with fire, kill it with fire, and kill it with fire. Okay, so... Ryu's too fast for it. Okay. Let's try this one more time then. Let's, hold on. If the star appears next to the damage attack's been blocked? Really? Let's try that again. Bring Nina out. Let's do that. Hmm, I don't think that actually combines. That's probably a part of its trap, now that I think of it. 
勝てよああ、well, I was going to bring out Ershan and see if her new fist would do anything extra, but... Oh well. She learned Wild Shot. And you got a bronze shield. Nice. Okay, hold on. What? This was the pet? Now I kind of feel sorry for it. <laughs> That what was I gonna do? Oh right, the bronze shield. Got life sandals, red cape. Increases chance of cat ooh. Can anyone else wear the red cape? No. Okay, that is strictly an Ersion thing. That's interesting. Alright. I'll put the red cape back on you and do, 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 do. it's gonna bring your agility down, but since you're the fastest person I have, I am not too bent up about it, to be honest. Alright. Whoa, gotcha, gotcha good. Okay, the door is trapped, you won't be able to get in that way. You know what that means? That means we actually have to get ourselves trapped in a way. She likes digging holes, so let's take... <laughs> she finds it hilarious that we fell down her hole. Oh, but if we went down a chicken hole, we would have had access to that chest. Interesting. Anything here? I stole a fish head. Ah, fish head soup. It's not as bad as it sounds. Where are you? There you are. Um, wisdom. Give it to you. Japanese bonza. How about a flutter? Can't do it, mate. Time's a wasting. Got him. Yes. What? No good, mate, but you sure put in the big ones. What's he talking about? Hmm. Do you know where the mayor is? No good, mate, but you sure put in the big ones. We put in together or we're not sharing a swag. Got him, yes. Dropping's Bonza. Can't do it, mate. Okay. Let's try. We really have no time for this. Ow, I'm chuffed. You gonna play with me? What do you want to play? No, then maybe you should the big ones. Okay. You got no idea at all yet, do you? Got him, yes, that's a spirit in fl like Flynn now. Okay. Oh, goodness, we really have no time. You gonna play with me? No. Hold on a minute, are we on or are we then? What's this then? You're pulling a flyer? I'll play with you. No good, mate. You'll lose. Okay. Oh, goodness. I don't quite remember how this went. Really have no time. You gonna play with me? Yes. No good, mate. Wrong, you lose. Who are you?
What if I look who's talking? Nugget no mate. Darn. Alright, let's try this again. No time. You gonna play? No. You put on flyer? No. Beauty Nuke? Up there, McZally, that one. You really got ticker. Not really. Good on you, mate. It's been Bonza. How can I do you? Where's the mirror? He's in the woods out back west. You want to chat? That's the ticket. That must mean he's in the woods to the west, right? Good lord. Alright, first things first, we're gonna get that chest that's guarded by the chi gun. Okay, so hop down one. 400 zene. And another one down. Is there another one down here? Nope. Alright. Ladder. And I think this actually takes us back to that shed that we were in before. Yep. Alright, so. Let's get out of here and not fall into any more traps. Simply because we actually lose points if we do. <laughs> Alright. Woods to the west. Oh, good lord. Alright, what kind of critters are we dealing with here? Much the same as usual. Alright. Um, how do you do that? Hmm. I wonder, actually. Wild shot to you. Follow it up with an Eddie and have you guard. Let me see if this works the way I think it will. No, okay. Even if I try it the other way around. Do like a wind strike kind of deal. Go away. Shirts again. Flugu. Wild shot guard. No, okay. Oh no, he's... okay. Speed is the issue. Is Ereshin my slowest? I thought Cray was my slowest. Hmm, alright. and then kind of playing around here. The only reason why I was kind of messing around with that is because there is a way to be able to combine your own um, combos. And... Hello. I said you can't come in. Oh, you're looking for the mayor? Um, there's a small problem. I mean, the mayor of Kyria is in here. But he's, um, well, lost. 
How do you know? Some really fierce wild animals moved into this forest a while back. Me and the mayor figured we should get rid of them. That's why we came here. But we only know how to make traps, see? We're not too good at hunting. I'm afraid we haven't had much luck so far. I think we laid too many traps. Kinda got hoist on our own petard, you know what I mean? I don't know what to do anymore. Um, so do you have any idea what's happened to the mayor? Well, he's either gotten stuck in one of his own traps, or he ran into that monster. If you want to go in there looking for him, I won't stop you. Here, take this with you. Got an apple. Try putting that apple on a stump in the woods. You should be able to lure the monster out with it. So if you find the monster and follow it, you should be able to find the mayor. I hope. But be careful. There are lots of traps in the woods. Well. Oh, right, right, right. Um. Let's change the walking order. Cray, I'm going to stick you back there for a moment. And while we're here, actually. Apple heals 100 hit points and is a favorite of the boars. So you know what I'm going to do? First, I'm going to get mildly annoyed that I have nothing that can heal AP with. Then... Oh, nope. I'm going to do this for a little bit. See if that is a 1-1 one, one thing. Yep, it is. Again! Because this is a really incredibly cheap way to get yourself a fairly decent healing item for this part of the game. Hurry up to. I lost count. <laughs> Oops, not manual. Okay, we're up to 48, and eight of these heals the same as one vitamin. An apple a day, I guess. Whereas the healing herbs, 300, but you gotta buy those. Yeah, I'm going to bash on this a little bit more. Although, to be honest, this is actually bringing back vague memories of Breath of Fire 3, the one that came before this one. 
where one character actually had the ability to kick. So would often wind up using him to kick trees around. check again because I don't know how many items I can actually hold at a time. 96, 97, 98, 99. Can I hold more than 99? Found an apple but you don't have enough room to carry anything else. All right, cool. So let's go on ahead and switch to Ryu real quick. Actually, <laughs> because why not? All right. Fire, wild shot. And because why not distracted? I'm gonna see if this is a liable way to do this first. Okay, so it doesn't quite work like that. <laughs> Nina's staring off in his face. <laughs> Rock, black, rock Blast now. This actually uh, opens up something kind of interesting. Alright. Let's switch it to real. And let's see, we have one stump here. We have a well. Can we go down the well? I think we just passed by an item. Who is leaving their shit in here? And why can't I just hop down and get it? Uh ha, you know what this means. This means that there are some pitfalls that I have to jump, jump down in order to get to these. That's a pain in the ass. Alright. to walk through those. That is one pitfall. Okay. Now there is actually a specific order to the magic here. There are four different elements, um, fire, wind, water, and earth. Now, this actually goes in a very specific wheel, and some things you can actually perform in a special order. Now I'm going to completely overdo it in this match, well, 
Actually, no, looking at how much AP is left, I may as well save it for, well, a little bit later. Because I've been spending all willy-nilly. But, it does mean that I can have various um, combos of different elements going on, much like with Firewind. Alright, let's go down this pit. Four healing her, alright. Alright, now let's find our way back to the entrance of the well and then go down the other pit. Oh, come on. Alright, where was the other pit? Well, what was that? Oh, it was just a rock. Was this the one? No. Although it is interesting to see where we drop down. Alright. Ah, that's not quite it either. That is honestly hilarious how all of the characters eventually drop in, despite knowing full well where this goes. <laughs> Fungoid uses command, then uses confuse. But it should be the other way around. Hmm. Alright. I'll have Erish in charge. Let Nina kind of hang out back there. It is a rare occurrence, but sometimes if you stick either Nina or Ershin behind them like that, then what winds up happening is um, there is a chance that they can actually still strike while they're back there. Ow. I found a pointed stick. Was that worth it? I don't know if that was worth it. In fact, what the crap kind of weapon was that? Alright. Nah, not really. Power 2, weight 1. I mean, it's incredibly light. But that wasn't worth the bump on the head. Nope, that wasn't it. Okay, that geography is... What the hell? <laughs> I'm confused. And I fell down another hole. Good going, Jenny. Do, 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 do. 
She really should start using some healing herbs or something. I should wear those apples. Because muncha cruncha. Alright. Are you it? No. Honestly, though, who on earth keeps leaving, like, random items beside a drinking source like that? walking along I suppose oh but I can't cross that bridge now actually I could never cross it in the first place by the look of it guess I have to find another route man this whole time I haven't even really been paying much attention to where I should be putting the apple that I obtained I'm just more worried about getting the chest. <sighs> Ryu, Ryu, Ryu. Try this again. Sixty-nine experience, but only fifty-seven zenny. Was that seriously the route that I was supposed to be taking? Ah, uh, yeah, I can always go back, right? Grief. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do the thing. Cray. You can use Rock Blast. Ryu, you can use Burn on that one. Nina, you can use Sever on that one. Holy shit. <laughs>
Oh, that was awesome. Now, did I just screw myself over or do I have... Oh, no, I do. Um, probably Nina. Doesn't look like I have any more fish though, so I may need to find another fishing spot somewhere. Up. Hey, level nine. But more berries. What's this? Oh! I guess I didn't need to go through the whole trap nonsense in the first place. Um, excuse me, but are you the mayor? Shh! Trap worked. You saw it, didn't you? That stupid animal just walked right into it. Do I know how to make traps or what? <laughs> That's what you get, you dumb furball. How'd you get so stupid anyway? Running the family? Oh dear. Oh. That'll be the family, yeah? Ah. Uh, this is a maman. War loves apples. Watch out for the body press and rock blast. You know what I'm gonna do. Use item. Apple. On the Maman. In the meantime, you can meditate. And you... Can give yourself a barrier. <laughs> Maman is distracted by the apple. So, what kind of specials do we have? Flame struck, strike, whoa! Rejuvenate, barrier, revert form. Um, going to use flame strike with you. You can learn wild shot, and you, um, type guard actually. Yeah, let's try that again.
damage can increase. Okay. You use apple in the middle man. Well, that Maman is distracted by the apple. I'm actually gonna have few. No, not guard. You can attack normally. Uh, there really doesn't seem to be a whole lot that he can do in this form. But, what I can do. Let's see, Brock Blast uses two. Alright, so, you can use Hua, whatever that is, you can use Sever, and I'll let Kray just kind of hang out back there. Only 152. The Ice Fist, that hurt. Okay. Well, I think I know what tactic we should be using here then. So. Apple on the Maman to distract it, since she's the fastest one. What is your special? Rock Blast? Doesn't... Yeah, it's still... I think I need to give Airshin some skills, eventually. Wild Shot. Flame Strike, why not? Okay, so those two do not chain in that direction. Okay, she really doesn't use a whole lot as far, or, or doesn't really have a whole lot to offer as far as actual damage goes, so revert him back. This is the real reason why the apples only only heal a hundred at a time. your damage was much higher. Gonna do like a super win kind of thing. Sorry. 
せよう、oh, Honestly, there's like no reason for her not to use that attack. Excuse you, I had an apple on the way. Start throwing apples instead. You can give it a wallop. You give it a wallop. Hey, there we go. Good lord. Got three levels out of that. And Ryu is so close to the next one. And Nina's actually had everyone else, and we got a flame punch. Nice. And another apple. <laughs> well, I must say, I'm in your debt. Thank you. Oh, and by the way, who are you? Um, you're the mayor of Kyria, right? Yes, yes I am. You wanna see me, did you? Oh, then let's go back to the village and we'll talk. Yeah, honestly, sawed that trap. <laughs> Spent all that time going to going around trying to get that treasure chest, but I'm thinking it's not worth it. At least not yet. Ooh. Hey. Okay, so she did wind up walking over her own one of the traps. It's lovely. Bet you've never seen a village like this before. Aw, I hear she's playing with the parrot. Um, well, no. Well, there's a good reason for all the traps. Ershin, what are you doing? <laughs> you mean because of the passageway to Sinesta? 
Ah, I knew about that already, did you? That's right. There's a passageway to Sinista here. A lot of people from Sinesta fled here during the war using it. Even though the war may be over, it's our job to protect it, in case anyone ever needs to use it again. That's why we're here, Mr. Mayor. We want to use it ourselves. Well, ah, sure, why not? You don't look like Imperial types. Just the opposite, actually. I'll open up the passageway tomorrow morning. You can stay at the end until then. Oh! Oh, we're back! Ooh. You're awake, eh? I'm probably gonna forget his voice next time I run into him. How do you feel? You were asleep for a long time, you know? You must be wondering where you are. My name's Bunyan. I live here, in the Zynga Mountains. I found you a few days ago, ago collapsed down by the river. I brought you here and dressed your wounds. Then I am in your debt, Bunyan, yes? No need to thank me. More important, are you alright? It doesn't look like it. <laughs> Don't push yourself too hard. I've seen men die from burns as bad as yours. You should, re you should rest some more. Unless, of course, you've got somewhere to go. Folu. Huh? My name. Folu, you say? That's interesting. Same name as the First Emperor, eh? Something along those lines, yes. Well, I guess we didn't actually get to play as him, but it's good to know that he survived all that nonsense from last time. Thank you for letting us use the shortcut, Mr. Mayor. No worries. Be careful and all that. The entrance to the passageway is up that road there. Alright then, let's get going. Great. And they both just shake their heads at us. <laughs> uh, for goodness sake, Cray. <laughs> Alright, take two. And we'll avoid this trap as well. Let's see, he's still going on about bear traps, the other one is still going on about um, explosive traps. Um, well, go on through, mind your step. Emphasis on mind your step, cry. I can't really see which way we're going from here, but is there anything up the water? Actually, I think the water is a path that we had to go, but hey. We have the initiative against army bats. Sharp teeth, vicious attack. You know what I got? I got firewind. 
I don't know if the fire itself will be of any use, but the wind will. Berries as of late, aren't I? Okay, so that water is deeper, and apparently I can't swim. We have a tadpole. This simple creature knows only how to snooze and how to devour. And a pus pool. Ew. Body is mostly water, stops most physical attacks. So, what if I dry it out? And you know what? I'm gonna bring Erishin over here to guard. Can Dean hydrate and harder? Mega. Nice. You should learn how to snooze. Okay. So what if I had him smash that? And then we continue with the fire wind. Oh nice. It became brittle. Oh, that's horrible. We took the two baby frogs that we just attacked and decided to turn it into fishing bait. People are terrible. <laughs> ah, more bats. And now Ryu levels up. You're up to level 10. Good lord, this is such a windy path. Alright. So, let's see. They are tadpoles, so I'm guessing they are of a water affinity. There's like a certain elemental chain here. Yeah, screw it. Not protect. Eddie. Mega. Oof. An 11 hit combo. That's awesome. Meaning we can go back to our master Rolf and talk to him a little later. 
Probably after we get out of all the shenanigans. And we got a toad from that. This is some confusion dungeon design. Healing? Let's see. We got a zombie. And you have a cadaver. This is the only zombie zombie only wants to make friends, literally. And this one is confused. Okay, so we can use you to confuse. You can burn. And you can use Eddie. Oh yeah, you say? Now, I don't know if this fire one is going to take away the confusion. It did. Shit. Oh! He attacked it anyway. Okay, um... Alright, let's use... Heal... Eddie... Um... Do you have any? No, I don't think you do. Um. Ooh, actually, I have a better idea. You use rest, and then you use heal. And nah, I think I'll just stick with Eddie. Nice. Alright. Let's try it again. Rest. Actually. Snooze. Rest. And heal. It may put Ershin to sleep, but. Oh, yes, me. Nice. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> okay, that was awesome. Gonna have to do that some more. Okay, so hop over here. There is a chest here. Huzzah. 500 zenny. Is that the only reason I came here? That can't be the only reason I came here. Alright. Let's do a quick fire wind. Eh, actually, yeah. Let's get rid of the army bats. If the zombie is still around, we'll see how many chip points it has left. Mega. Mega. None. I'm fine with this. Honestly, though, is that the only reason why I am in this area? I hope not, at least. Oh, you guys again. Alright. Snooze. Rest. No, not sever. Heal.
That is a little ridiculous damage wise, <laughs> I gotta admit. Alright, so you rest. You heal them. And. Fuck it, you speed on yourself, see if that carries over. I don't remember if this is the same way I came in or not. Oh, it's not. Good. Oh, wow. So, this is Sinesta. This town took the brunt of the fighting during the war. That, like Chamba had been contaminated by a hex during the war. It's certainly a lot livelier than Chamba, though. Yeah, it's also where Lena disappeared. Oh, okay. Don't worry, Cray. I'm sure we'll find something here that will help us find her. You're telling Cray not to worry. It's your sister we're looking for. These clothes are pretty nice, huh? I got them from the Windy and Princess. Yeah, I think I'll let um Nina walk around in this one. I'm so hungry. Where's Chino? Hope he gets back home soon. Chino must be running around town somewhere again. He's such a kid. I'm hungry, but none of us can eat until Shino gets back. Interesting. Can I get to that one? It's empty. Could this be one of the chests that Lino brought with her? Okay, so... Looks like this is an orphanage. Hello there. I'll be glad to talk to you. But first I have to see to the children's meals. Who's upstairs? The Wendy and Princess recently visited us on a goodwill tour. She made a generous donation of clothes and toys for the children. Somehow that doesn't sound like something that a child would say. <laughs> howdy howdy, Bibars. How are you doing? All of us here don't have mommies or daddies anymore. That's sad. Sister Lida takes care of us now. I'm hoping that's how, how that's pronounced. Fill the toys and snacks. Children's clothes. Can't use any of those. Alright. Chino, you come back here right now! <laughs> I'm doing better than she is, that's for sure. <laughs> Oh, good grief. No wonder this place is built like a maze. They want us to chase a dog through the damn city. Ah, I gotta check, catch Gino. What? You think you can catch me? No way! I'm the fastest! No one can catch me! Help catch Gino. Fuck. You can catch Gino by getting close and talking to him. He'll run in the opposite direction if he sees you coming, so get ahead of him and wait to cut him off. Uh, why? This place was a mess after the war. But now that we've gotten the buildings all repaired, almost, I see a gaping hole in the one you're sitting next to, people have started moving back. Okay, so there's Chino up there. I'm just gonna, gonna kind of mess around down here, actually. 
There's still a lot of damaged houses and all. But it's starting to look like a city again. Don't you think? Yeah, the people help. Koala! <laughs> Wanna know how I got so skinny? I ain't got a sand flyer, so I had to cross the desert on foot. I am sorry. I mean, so did I, but I am sorry. This town was on the front line during the war. Which means it's the perfect place to set up shop now the war's over. If you say so. This town suffered the most during the war. A lot of people were injured or killed. I hear some princess or something came on a goodwill visit on a while ago to help lift people's spirits. Yeah, we're looking for her. Do you know where she went? I've heard that one of the merchants here has some kind of deal with the Empire. Well, that's not good. I wonder what kind of person would do business with their enemy. Must be very brave or very greedy. Probably greedy. Hey, so repair my house. Can't you give me even a little discount? Hey, I gotta bring this in by Sandflyer, you know? I can't go any lower than this. That sucks. Can I talk to you? I plan to travel the world, paying my way with what I earned with my performances. Admirable, but I don't know if this is really the place to do it. You carry everything, even goods from the Empire. So you're the greedy son of a bitch. Okay, what have you got? <laughs> Healing herb, antidotes, eye drops, jabber grass. Let's go ahead and get a few of these. Panacea, ammonia, wooden rod, floaters. Mm. I mean, it feels like we should have plenty. There sure are a lot of things for sale, but I don't have any idea what I could use any of it for. <laughs> well, yeah. It's in this building. Place to save. You wanna make an entry in your diary? Yes. Why do you have to give me a big ol' exclamation point for that? Oh, oh, right, there we go. Oh, wow. Just realized how many levels it went up. Hello. A lot of people from the west who want to sell things come here to this town. Hmm. What's upstairs? Kitty! Hello, kitty. You want to know about the princess who came visiting here? I do. I don't know about my, that myself, but Vita might. She's the one who takes care of the orphans. She lives in the house in front of the well. The one that I went to first, okay. Got a lot of weapons. Ooh, give me weapons. Let's see what we can trade, actually. Mm, yes. Ooh. You're gonna be very slow, sir. Leads little to the imagination. <laughs> um, armor of Link Chains. You know what? Screw it. They're gonna both go like Conan. Alright. Chain Cap. Oh, I guess I didn't need to trade both of them. Alright. Okay. What else can we trade, actually? Grass helm. Glass domino. Ooh. Soul gem. Hmm. Okay, I can't trade that, but I can buy one for her. Okay, that is some ridiculous defense. Now that I've wasted all my money. It's a shady customer over there, hello? Okay, don't want to say anything, fine. This house belongs to the Magnificent Warlock! 
It's not a place for people like you to hang around. Jerk. It's hard to believe that just a little while ago, this place was filled with that horrible black hex mist. Gotcha! <laughs> and here I was just dicking around while you were running in circles. <laughs> Whoa, you got me! Alright, alright, I'll go home with the sister. <laughs> that wasn't even planned at all, but I'll take it. I see you've come back, and you've got Chino with you. Yes, Sister Lyda. These people here were kind enough to help me find him. Well, thank you very much for your help. All right, children, now that everyone's here, let's eat. Now then, why don't we go upstairs and talk? Yes, it's true. Her Highness Princess Alina did honor us with a visit. She was very kind to the children. Who, as you know, lost their parents during the war. She left them many gifts of clothing and other things. I was very impressed with her compassion and generosity. What then? Where did Alina and the people with her go when they left? Well, I'm terribly sorry, but... Please, we'd be grateful if you could tell us anything. I know! Chino... Chino, do you know where my sister... where the princess went when she left here? You bet I do, but... I won't tell you! You caught me when we played tag before. This time you have to play hide. Yeah, <laughs> this time you have to play hide and seek with us. If you can find all of us, I'll tell you where she went. You are such a little brat. Hey everyone, hide and seek. We didn't agree to this. Ow. Smacked her face on the stairs. Ow. Oh dear, I'm sorry. I didn't intend for you to have to. It's alright, sister. Besides, if Chino does know what happened to my sister, I'll do whatever I have to get them to tell me. Such a little rat. Well, let's go try and fight him. Hide and seek seems to be like a running thing in the Breath of Fire games. The children from the orphanage are all hiding somewhere in the town. Catch them, find them, and talk to them. You can see how many have left by returning the returning to the orphanage and counting how many children are there. How many are there in total, though? That didn't entirely. Sorry, I tried to catch them. Are you playing? Oops, you found me. All right, I'll tell you where to find Rudd. He said he'd hide under the eastern wall. I... I wasn't trying to hide from you. I don't play hide and seek. That's for kids. How old are you? Alright. Which way is north? I think... Oh, you found me already. All right, I'll tell you where, Go where Goda is. I saw him go off towards the gate. Okay, I'm guessing that this is the eastern wall. During the war, this the city was attacked by the Empire with their hex cannon, what they call the carronade. Up until just a little while ago, it was still so bad that no one could live here at all. That's monkey dude. Is that someone here? I didn't think you'd find me this soon. You probably won't be able to find Moto so easy though. You probably can't see him. Not even from the top of the bridge in the center of town. Water! Who 
want some nice, cool, clear water. I hear the Imperial troops sometimes come here too. That's not comforting at all, good sir. I imagine you get rid of the hex. But there's still some monsters left in the buildings. That's why I'm guarding the staircase. Let's make sure nothing gets in or out. So we've got one by the gates, one who's hiding out. Oh, hello! Drat, you got me! Okay, I'll tell you where Kanoko is. From here, walk six steps south, then 16 steps west, then north one step. After that, you have to walk east, you have to walk, sorry, walk west three steps, then south three steps, and then west another four steps. That's where Kanoko is. What in the fuck kind of instructions? The sound sure takes a lot, of, a lot out of you with all these stairs. Who built it like this is what I want to know. Alright. That? No, that's the same kid I keep seeing. Honestly, I'm kind of glad this um, game has the soundtrack that it does. It's awesome. I'm gonna try talking to that shady motherfucker again. Hi! Nope, nothing. Alright. Okay, um. Let's see how many kids are left. So you've got one, two, two, four, five. I don't know how many kids were here. Oh dear, I'm so sorry. John Tun told you where to find me, didn't he? Did you see Moto? Try looking north from the top of the bridge. Really look up there? You should have just told you to go to the end, huh? <laughs> Maybe. Did you find Rudd? See, he's here, you know. Okay, so we've got one to the inn. Are they all outside, or are some of them hiding inside? Because if some of them are hiding inside, that's kind of a cheap shot, to be honest. Are you the inn? You are the inn. You got me! Have you found everyone yet? If you're not sure, you should go back and count how many of us you found. Alright, we'll do. North from the bridge. Is this the bridge? You know, I get confused as far as which way is north and south. Hmm. Okay, so that kid is already gone. So, if this is the east... North will be up that way. Alright.
Is he like hiding? In like a niche in the wall? No? This is the north. He's right there. I'm a dingus. Whoops, look, looks like he found me. <sighs> if you're looking for Nama, she told me she was going to go hide on the stairs. I think I already found her. And I think the only one that I have left to find is Chino, but I didn't see anyone giving me hints as far as where Chino went. Real to get there? Is he in? Yes. Found everyone yet? I don't know. Um, looks like there's still one child missing. It's Chino, isn't it? I suspected as much. As you know, he's very good at writing and hiding from us. Gino? He said he was gonna hide in a cellar or something. This town has a large number of underground rooms that are not currently in use. As you may know, during the war, we were the target of a hex attack. Although the city has above ground has been purified, Apparently, the monsters still thrive underground. It's possible that Chino may have snuck past the guard and is hiding underground. Well, we'll go look for him then. You will? Oh, thank you so much. Good luck and be careful. Fuck's sake, Chino. Alright, so first things first, we will find that in again and save because I ain't gonna do that all over again. <laughs> Let me through. Let me through. Thank you. Let's see, I think this was the end. Yes. You can talk to it, you know. Oh, I have to actually. Fine. I'm gonna stay for the night. It costs 50 zenny. No thanks. Alright. Let's see about that guard, eh? What? One of the orphans went down there? That's impossible. I've been standing here watching the entrance all day. Or are you saying that I'm not doing my job? I'm really thirsty now after all that shouting. Well, where is what's her face with the water? There she is. We'll just kind of hang out here. Because I think... There she is. What? Oh no. Oh hell no. Uh, I wonder if we'll buy water again today. There he goes. Not doing your job, indeed. Alright, Chino, where the hell are you, little brat? If I have to fight a boss battle because of you. Ammonia? It's sleeping. We got a roach. Takes the air when seriously threatened. Well, I am seriously going to threaten you. Oh. 
She learned Rejuvenate. That is a wonderful spell. Basically just heals more than last time. But if we run into any more undead, this will be amazing. Oh, wow. No wonder he hid down here. Nothing here. Or here. Alright. Seriously, though. This level design. Why? Protein. This room is fucking massive if she's able to do that. Alright, so. Uh, plus one defense. Give that to Nina. And since we have a load of apples, give her one of those too. Attacks all it sees with snap. <laughs> all right, Ershin learned one. Okay, so let's see what kind of an attack this actually was. Okay, interesting. It's a debuff. Okay. Ah, pardon me. Do we have anyone else who knows any debuffs? Well, technically, blind, chlorine. And yeah, that seems about it. So, what I'll do. like that. I don't know if they'll actually do anything. That is interesting that it brings down the fence, and even more so that they peak that they were picking on my highest um, defense guy at that moment. But, just going to charge. Alright, that was a great victory. I don't know how those mice were carrying around 75s any, but I'll take it. Whoop. Oh, what did you have? 80 any. Okay then. Shino. Where are you, you little shit? More roaches.
Alright, Ershin is now level 10. Sadly, the slowest one at the moment is Cray. There you are. There's a barrel caught in the door. I'll be able to get it open while it's in the way. Ah, because it opens that way. Raptor Claws. Actually, what do those do? It's Wind Claws. Okay, I'll take it. And... Yeah. Alright, so... How are we gonna get over there if there's a barrel caught in the door then? Oh, that's how. Okay, so that one hops down to the one we were just at. All right, you little shit. Drat, you found me. I thought no one would be able to find me here. Child. All right then, Gina. Will you tell me about the princess now? Okay, a deal's a deal. When the princess, did I tell you how pretty she was? Anyway, when she was getting ready to leave town... I followed her. I ran after her all the way to the gate. When I got there, I saw these people come up and start talking to her. Oh dear. What? Who was it? Who was there? Tell me! I don't really know, but one of them was Marlock, the shop owner. Marlock is a merchant who lives here in the town. He owns a large sand flyer of his own. Some people say he even has dealings with the Empire. Mm-hmm. The Empire? You mean Alina's been taken to the West? Excuse me, sister, but do you think you could tell us where we can find this Marlock? Marlock's got this big house right in the middle of town. He's got a bodyguard, too, who stands in front of it. Looks like we should have a little talk with this Marlock. Thanks for your help. Yeah, if only these kids realize just how fucking dire that was. Because, you know, you're kind of witnessing to a possible kidnapping. Nah. Alright, so. We actually are going to need to rest for this one, as much as I hate to part with the 50 tenny. No, I don't want you to fly into this roof. What do you gotta say? Those people from the west who want to sell things come here in this town. Oh, you are. I already talked to you before. Okay. Hex. 
I don't think I can trade skills with people while I'm out here. Alright, let's go talk to the bodyguard. This house belongs to the more magnificent mo What? You wanna meet with Mr. Marlock? No way! Forget it! He doesn't meet with anyone but his business partners. If you're not selling or buying, he won't see you. If you insist, you're gonna have to go through me. Strong looking fighter is a master question mark of focus. Okay. <laughs> Rock Blast. Burn. And... Yeah, it's sever. Start with that. You wonder. I'll have you do rock bus again, have you do burn again, and I'm not just gonna have you guard. Your garden too. All right. What were your specials again? All right. Let's snap. Chlorine. I don't think I have anything that can actually decrease his stuff. So go back to Cray. Just smack him. Oh, I didn't combine this time. Wild shot. You use your flame strike. I don't think anyone else has any. Well, aside from this dragon, I'm not counting that. Oh, yay! He won't focus. I mean, that wasn't what I was planning to learn, but it works. Got to do that one more time. Hopefully, Cray will learn the flame strike. Nope. All right. A 
again. This is gonna bug me because I really want someone to learn Flame Strike. Come on, Cray. Maybe if I switch it up. time it seems. Alright. Well, you did learn focus at least, so there's that. Smack the shit out of him. You rest, and then you use barrier on Cray. <laughs> or not. <laughs> Holy cow, that focus. Alright. Got level 10. And ginseng. Nice. My, my. Very impressive, my friends. I am Marlock. You are wanting to see me, yes? Well, then come inside that we could talk. What? A Windian princess, you say? Now that you mention it, I did carry a person who looked like that on my sand flyer. What did you do with her? Ah, no, my little birdie, you misunderstand. I was asked to take her to the west, you see. Listen, mister, you'd better start making sense. And fast. Tell us exactly what happened now. There is nothing to tell. The Empire asked the princess to come to the capital. Oh shit. What? The? Why would Lena go there, huh? What reason would she have to go to the heart of the enemy's country? You are asking the wrong person, eh? Besides... I am thinking that you will be wanting my help in looking for the princess, no? If that is so, then I think you should be a little more polite, eh? Well, if you are wanting my help, I am not an unreasonable man. 
But before I help you, I need you to do some work for me. So he wants us to catch some thief, huh? Merchants. They can't think about anything but money. We're trying to find a missing princess. And he sends us off to find his missing money. What do you think we are anyway? Handymen or something? What are you laughing at? Erison reminds me that we were responsible for the loss of his bodyguard. Angie says that it is unrealistic to expect someone like Marlock to provide us with the services for no cost. Um, well, I guess you've got a point. Still, I think it's asking a little much to have, a, have us leave Nina behind like that. She's a princess herself, not a maid. Um, Mr. Marlock, what exactly is it that you um, want me to do? Well, until your friends come back with the items that were stolen from me, I was thinking that maybe you could do some work around here. You know, help take care of the house. And me. Creep. Well, anyway, we should probably think of what to do next. I have been told that we should find the thief as quickly as possible, that we may return and continue on our mission without further delay. Alright then, let's go ask all the traveling merchants if they know anything about this thief. Ah, criminy. Another case of this is not a good idea. Well. At the very least, she probably, probably rests up save, and quite frankly, I've been at this for a little while. I'm not trying to talk to you. I wish to talk to you so I can save and wrap this up for tonight. 50 cents? Sure. Alright. Alright, so everyone at level 10, and I guess if nothing else, this is a, a chance for them to catch up with Nina, since she's like a level ahead, but yeah, I agree with Ryu there, it is 2am and I'm gonna go on ahead and hit the hay. I'm not sure when I am going to be able to do the next stream, Considering that I actually have recently picked up a new job, so hours are going to be kind of wonky. But when things settle down, I will probably get right back into this. So, until next time, um, this has been Shenrai, and I hope you've enjoyed some more Breath of Fire 4.